Hi, welcome to my next video. And um, today um, I'm going to talk to you about two programs, Cubase and uh, Max MSP7, Max7, from a company from California called Cycling74. And basically, um, I'm showing you my sound card. It's an RME 9652. And if you're thinking about um, having a home studio, it's a good sound card. And, uh, you know, it's a professional quality sound card. And uh, the great thing about it is that you can get them. The PCI version, because everybody's moving to PCI Express, so you can get the PCI version for two or three hundred dollars now. Um, some modern PCs don't have PCI slots, but you can get an adapter um, for it. So the RME sound card is a really nice card. You can have all your analog ins and outs and digital ins and outs. And uh, it looks very daunting and complex, but after a while you get familiar with it. There's the routings. And I've got some presets set up for hardware, PC, Cubase, multi mix. But that's not why I'm making this video. Okay, so here's Cubase. And we're going to open up another program called Max 7. Max 7. Cycling 74 Max 7. And they're kind of, um, if you're into making music on your computer, you know that there's something called a VST, and that's basically, it's, it's basically a musical instrument in a software form called a VST. And you can have anything from drum machines to samplers, and then you can have all the effects. Um, so anyways, um, um, I'll tell you a little bit of the history of Cycling74, that company from California that makes this program here called Max7. And uh, um, basically they made another program called Plugo like probably over 10 years ago and that it doesn't work, run on modern PCs running Windows 10 and stuff like that so and it can only work on you know pre 64 bit windows so um, Plugo was really nice because it was a whole bunch of plugins but uh, I mean I'm not incredibly computer savvy and I'm not a programmer or anything like that, but I still like to play around. So, I mean, you know, Max MSP is pretty daunting, a pretty daunting program. But, you know, for the nerdy types, um, you know, you can achieve some pretty interesting things with it. Um, but yeah, if you don't have like a, a nerdy science background, you'll probably be very daunting for most people but over the years um, Max has gone gotten a little bit easier to use which is you know good for me and uh, but um, I really miss Plugo because Plugo was basically it was a hundred uh, instruments and effects and I used to have a program called Traction and you can make a rack and then you could add your Plugos and you could basically, you know, be very creative with sound that way. But then, uh, like I said, Plugo, you couldn't use it on Windows, the new Windows. So I really missed Plugo. Um, and then they came out with Max 7. And, like, almost all the Plugos are available now with Max 7. And for a while, you, don't, you had to get Ableton before you were able to use something called Max for Live. And that way you could, you know, right away you could use 
um, plug going max for live, in Ableton Live. But I'm not an Ableton user, so I had to wait. So I'm going to show you, um, basically, um, one of the really cool things about Cubase, and one of the really cool things about uh, Max MSP, and, you know, just generally in computer music, is that you can get the two programs working together. So you can get MIDI going out from Max and into Cubase, and the other way around. MIDI going out from Cubase and into Max, and you can get audio um, out from Cubase and into Max, and audio out from Max and into Cubase. Probably at the same time, too. Um, you know, there's the audio setup for Max here. I have it set on Rewire right now. But you can change it to have your sound card. Um, so we'll do it for the sound card, my sound card, and then we'll open up a patch that I already made right here on my desktop, saved it on my desktop. to Cubase, yeah, so I wanted to get MIDI. Anyways, I just played around with it, and Max 7 is a little bit, easy, a bit easier than Max 6. So you have edit mode and presentation mode. And if you go to edit mode, then these things, these are like your menus. Takes a minute to respond. There we go. So there's your live devices. Those are your plugos. I was talking about plugos. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them. And uh, and here is something called Beep. And these are like pre-made devices that you can put together and you can make VSTs, like uh, audio devices. So uh, I'm not going to go really deep into Plugo right now, or uh, Max MSP. Okay, so um, if I go transport, okay, view, edit mode, transport, okay, there it's on now. So then I go over to Cubase. I should have audio, uh, MIDI coming through here. Okay, so there, so... Anyway, so uh, I got it to work, I mean... Cubase. Hope you can hear that.
So then, um, yeah, so... Anyways, uh, I have this other thing called Loot B. I think it's working with Loot B, so... Loot B's little program that runs in the background. And, uh... Looks like, for me, anyways, it's an internal MIDI 2. I don't know why that works, but it seems to only work on internal MIDI 2. Uh, if I set it to internal MIDI 1, it won't work. Internal MIDI 1. See? At this internal MIDI one it won't work. Oh no, it won't work. Internal MIDI one. Audio, not MIDI. Okay, yeah, so you Okay, so basically you go options audio status Get my audio status window.
Let's close that. Oh, it's right there. So you've set it to rewire, AD underscore rewire. And then we're back in the Cubase. And uh, got this right here. I just figure out how to add a rewire track. Okay, so I don't know how I did that. <laughs> seven. Rewire channel. <laughs> 